So, hi guys. I've been wanting a decent, uh, well, relatively decent microphone to use with the cameras whilst outside being able to talk to you guys in the camera. So I bought this for 25 quid and this is what happened. Alright guys, so I'm using a Bluetooth um, microphone. Testing, testing it out. There's loads of cool cars. Um, just want to check the range out. You should be able to see me from there hopefully. So I'm about what? 10, 15 feet away. So I just want to see what the quality is like. If it's actually working or not. And they're going to walk out. So once I'd walked behind the camera, it just cut out. And I was no, no further away than, uh, than I had been in front of the camera. Which is really strange. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the hissy noise that you can feel. It's like feedback. Um, and it wasn't, there's an electric fence there actually, and I thought well maybe it's the electric fence, but then actually I tried it a well away from the electric fence, and it's still the same, so I think it's just, you get what you pay for, um, there's some very expensive um, wireless microphones out there, but I, if anybody knows of any that are really good, that aren't ridiculous money, that could be quite good, um, otherwise I'm just going to uh, have to keep researching and seeing what's what. Uh, so I tried it again, um, just to see what else happened. Alright guys, so I'm sat behind the camera now, and that seems to be picking up quite well. So I'm going to walk away from the camera again, and uh, see what's what. So wisely, it seems to be okay if you aim back towards the camera, which I've got the other sort of antenna bit aiming this way as well. So I'm hoping that. From short distances it was okay, and it's still usable I guess, but I just want to see if there's any more interference noises, because there is, it's going straight in a bit. So after giving up with that, um, I was up on the South Downs, it's most, one of the most beautiful roads in East Sussex and the South East to drive on, so I just took the car for a blast. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of other cars out and about, so I'm enjoying it as well, so um, here's just my trip test down the road, it's about 3-4 miles in total, um, and it's just a lovely twisty sort of bit of road there. So enjoy um, please remember to subscribe to the uh, channel and uh, keep asking questions and uh, don't bother wasting your money on one of these microphones absolute waste of time And talking about microphones and everything like that, the GoPro Hero 7 Black that I bought recently to kind of use as my vlogging camera, um, it allows me to stick it anywhere, like on the side of the car, on the stick I've got for it, so I can literally talk to it, um, or you know show you where I'm walking, and it, just lots of different things like that, and that's the reason it works really well for me. Um, they have finally sorted out the audio, and the only downside is obviously the wind noise when you're when it's on the side of a car, um, but you know, on the back of the car we hear the exhaust and everything, it sounded fine. Um, but it's just the wind noise, but other than that, it's really, really good. And they've definitely sorted it out compared to the last sort of six series before that. Um, because it was all muffled and everything, it sounds really good. So that's one one thing I'm really pleased about. Um, so it was a lovely day, and uh, basically just enjoyed the rest of it. Um, it's just a shame that microphone headset was a waste of money. I've not bothered um, trying to send it back or anything, it's only 25 quid. So I'm not that worried, um, but yeah, I'm hoping to find something else that I can use. And uh, while I was there, obviously I took a few photos. And uh, just before I finish, you can see a couple of them here. There's quite a few nice old cars driving around, and uh, that worked really well. Uh, locking on the AF, you know, the auto focus tracking and everything like that, absolutely fine. Uh, no trouble whatsoever, and uh, it was just a 
a lovely day warm considering it's winter we haven't really had much of a, a cold spell as such um, but you know it's gonna happen probably in January February I'd imagine it's when it normally snows in the UK especially down in the south um, but uh, yeah here's so here's a couple of the photos um, which is an old escort Ford escort there um, the guy was loving it uh, as soon as I aimed a camera at him he absolutely nailed it as far as he possibly could which was quite cool to be fair um, you know for an old classic car like that it's, that's what they're for to be used yeah they're probably starting to go up in value but at the end of the day you can't enjoy it when it's parked so if you enjoy driving that's what it's for same as this old um, I'm not sure what this was an Elvis or something like that I'm not really sure um, but uh, or an Al yeah, Elvis I think um, you know he was loving it as well there was plenty of other cars driving around but a couple of times I didn't have the camera um, out it was in the boot while I was driving uh, Beachy Head um, the famous cliffs uh, with the lighthouses and uh, yeah and just one last shot um, which is a seagull and he was just interested to see what I was doing I think he was just uh, looking there but all in all not a bad day like I say just a shame about those uh, that microphone because I had kind of high hopes it was built well and uh, it sort of worked quite well but it's obviously just not that reliable which is a real shame so uh, anyway guys like I said please subscribe please click the notification bell and uh, keep sharing and please ask questions and I'll try and do my best to help okay cheers